Hey there friends, in this video I'm gonna share with you the 10 exact foods I ate every day that helped me lose 50 pounds in three months. And this video is really important for me to make because I used to weigh 275 pounds and my weight was causing me serious health problems like sleep apnea and plantar fasciitis. So bad I could barely walk and I needed a CPAP machine to breathe at night because of the sleep apnea. I knew I needed to lose weight and I had tried for years but I kept failing because I thought the only way to lose weight was by taking away full food groups like carbs. I thought I needed to give up all my favorite foods or only be able to lose weight by doing fancy diet programs or only by eating all organic food. I couldn't sustain it. I kept failing and all it would do is I didn't like the food and I'd end up going way off track, overeating and gaining more and more weight. So I finally decided what if I pick a group of food that I really like that I can look forward to and stick to eating all the time and I started portioning it out by using the serving sizes on the backs of the nutrition labels on the backs of packages and because I liked the food and I could stick to it and portioning it out helped me eat in a calorie deficit I was not only able to lose the 50 pounds in three months but I was able to go on and lose a total of 130 pounds and keep it off for seven years because I included all the foods that I loved and I could be satisfied and look forward to what I was doing so let's start with the first one I put oats first because Oats was pretty much what I ate for breakfast almost every single morning and I like them because they're quick oats, they're super cheap, they're super tasty and they're versatile and the greatest thing about oats is they have a lot of fiber and when you cook them with water or non-dairy milk they like double or triple in size so they fill up my belly and they made me feel full for quite a few hours and when I combined them with a few other things on this list it made an even bigger meal that kept me even more full for hours I used to make um, and I still do sometimes granola out of this with like low calorie sweetener and cinnamon I would top this into Greek yogurt make pancakes out of it by grinding the oats into oat flour so many things that I could do with oats so the next one I I paired these together because nuts and peanut butter go I think they go together I don't so, think so <laughs> I, I don't think they're related at all okay the truth is I wanted to call this 10 things and I needed to find another way to add an extra food in. So they're going together, okay? <laughs> but we did eat them separate and they did bridge the gaps for our meals. Yes, so we did eat them separate and I ate both of these every single day. Um, usually I would put the peanut butter with the oats and that really helped me eat like a really good meal that kept me full for a long time. And the nuts, these are salted. This is one serving, a quarter cup of salted peanuts. We chose salted in the beginning. Kyle, my husband, he's also lost 130 pounds and he ate these foods to lose 50 pounds in three months too. Um, this was kind of like the fat really helped keep us full and satisfied in the nuts. It also was a tasty snack that helped with any cravings we were getting. And we would get the salted or sometimes there was like different flavors of nuts. And we would get those because the flavor really curbed our appetite and our cravings. The key, the key for nuts are so calorie dense. That's when we first measured, like you do get a fair amount, you but do. when we first measured it out, I remember thinking, holy cow, I've been eating like five, I've been grabbing a whole handful and eating like five, six servings at a time. And they're like, yeah, 300 calories a serving. Yeah, and they're so easy to eat like a whole bag. That is why the portions combined with the foods helped because a portion does keep you full. And when you actually measure it out, it also saves money too and helped us eat in a calorie deficit. And a tablespoon and of the peanut butter. A tablespoon of the peanut butter and um, the oats was always half a cup for now, myself. Th this might seem like simple but a lot of people don't, I don't know if they don't think like this but also the fitness industry, diet industry never tells you this. It tells you what, it, like people ask us how much to eat of this. It tells you on the package what a serving is. And that's this will say a tablespoon. That's exactly why I always say this in the videos. Like 
I literally use the back, the nutrition labels on the back to use what a serving was, so a half a cup. And you know, depending on the day, if I was hungry, I might have two servings, but typically I would use what the serving size said on the back of the package. Like if you want advanced you know? knowledge down the road, or you're, you're getting fitter, or you want to know like, you know, our ebooks, what exactly what we ate, sure. Buy something, hire somebody. The general info is for free on the back of every single food product in the grocery store. That's how much they recommend that someone should eat. And I literally, like, you're going to see the foods, and I'll get back to it in a minute, but I literally use the serving sizes on the backs of all the packages, and I would weigh myself at the end of the week. And if the portions were proper, I would lose weight. And if it was too many portions, I would either gain weight or not gain weight and not lose weight. And that's when I would know, okay, I'll eat a little less and then weigh myself again. And that's exactly what we did. These foods and portion control. We want you guys to watch us forever, but we don't want you to need us forever. Exactly, yeah, watch us for this entertainment, but we don't want you to need us, exactly. So the next one, lean protein. Now, one of my favorites is turkey bacon, and I, I don't have it right now, but turkey pepperoni. Mm. And the reason is because one slice of real bacon is 145 calories, two of these turkey bacons is 70 calories. So even though we were using portion control, I still chose foods that were lower in calories so I could get bigger portions. And with turkey bacon and pepperoni, I mean turkey pepperoni, I could eat the bacon and the pepperoni without the extra calories and eat more of it. I also really enjoy these and we still eat this stuff obviously. Um, low calorie, extra lean deli slices like ham 50 calories for three slices so you can really eat a lot and still be in a calorie deficit the next thing i loved fruit mostly berries and we bought them frozen because they're more like cost efficient and they last longer berries like blueberries strawberries and melon and the reason the berries have a lot of fiber and they're really low in calories so i could eat a lot of portions of them like one cup what is a serving and that's a lot of strawberries or berries and then cantaloupe and watermelon I ate a lot of too because it's so water dense that it would really fill me up when I added it with my peanut butter and oatmeal for breakfast I would stay full for hours fill up on fruit if there's anything you take away from this fill up on fruit I know when me and Nicole are really overweight it wasn't because we were eating too much fruit 50 calories for a cup of strawberries Okay, so fill up on fruit. Now, we were just talking and I made this peanut butter and nuts really confusing. So I had way more than 10 foods and I added, I made this number two, but it's two foods. So I'm sorry it was confusing. Oh, that's why I was making fun of you because <laughs> I, I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, we don't have 10 foods, so we had to make nuts and peanut butter two separate things. No, I'm sorry about the confusion. Sorry, Sassy. I had like 13 things, and I wanted to make it 10. So, gotcha, yeah, so gotcha. I'm sorry. My brain is weird. So we ate these. That's what you need to know. Move on to bread. So this is number four, and number four is bread. And not only did we have like bread, we also ate wraps pretty much every single day. And sometimes we would switch out for an English muffin. We always chose the whole grain or the whole wheat because it had more fiber, and with more fiber, it fills your belly up quite a bit. And we were always looking to feel full and satisfied, and we didn't want to give up our favorite foods like bread and wraps and stuff. We love so. pizza too, and the wraps or tortillas are really good low calorie pizza crust. Yeah, they they do so many things. They also make really good pita chips. I would slice them up, bake them, and make like tortilla chips and things for snacks, for dipping and whatever. The next one, cheese. I love cheese and crackers. And this is number one, two, three, four, five, six on the list. Cheese. I did not want to give up cheese. Well, this was number four. Brad was four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, guys, bear with me. Cheese. We can't count. <laughs> I know. I can lose weight. <laughs> That's all I can do. <laughs> okay, cheese. Um, it is so full of calcium and lots of protein for 
30 grams, it's like 120 calories, you get quite a bit. And cheese paired with some form of like, usually I would put like on a wrap or on bread or something, really helped me feel full. I don't know what it is about cheese, but that maybe the protein in it always made me feel full and satisfied. I think it helps, like we do eat meat, but we don't eat a lot of meat, so I think it really helps. Yeah, great source of calcium and protein, which really helped keep me satisfied and full. And the next one was Greek yogurt, and that is number seven. Now, Greek yogurt, we always bought the plain, in the beginning, we bought the fat-free. Now we buy the 2% just because we find a little bit more fat keeps us more full. But we buy the plain because if you buy the fruit flavored, it does come with a few extra carbs and sugar, which we didn't want. And we sweeten it ourselves with low-calorie sweetener and vanilla extract. And um, sometimes we put like cinnamon or fat-free pudding mix in there. But this is so good because Greek yogurt is full of protein. And what protein does is it lowers your hunger hormone, which is called ghrelin. And so it really does keep you full and satisfied for way longer than if you ate the kind without the protein, like the regular yogurt. And this, again, you could pretty much pair it with anything on this list and it would go well together. The next- Not this. Yes, you can actually. No. You Yes. No. Yeah, because you know what? Some people use Greek yogurt on taco salad in place of the sour cream and they put cheese on it. You know I'm what? serious. I'm not kidding. No, you're kidding. I'm not kidding. No. You know what I would pair peanuts with? Peanut butter. <laughs> Guys, I, had, I wanted to make 10 foods, okay? Not 13, because 13 doesn't sound good. So that's what I did. I'm sorry. I'm confusing. I'm admitting it on camera. Let's go to this one. This one's really important because... We literally ate popcorn, and this is number eight. Oh my gosh. Let's get rid of numbers. <laughs> Who invented numbers? This is number eight, popcorn. Air pop or 94% fat-free smart pop is what we eat and what we always ate. You can have eight cups of popcorn for like 200 calories, and because we could have so many portions of it, it really kept us full, and it's so versatile. We would put light margarine on it, sometimes Italian seasoning, light Parmesan cheese, and make like a popcorn, a pizza popcorn, which really helped. This literally kept us full and stopped us from overeating pretty much every single night. And then the next one is veggies. I was going to put potatoes and veggies separate, but I wanted to put them together for a reason because the fitness industry, my whole life, I thought that this was a carb, but I learned this is a veggie. I treat it as a veggie, not a carb. Um, so that's why it's in the veggie category. And potatoes are actually pretty low calorie. Like this is only about 160 calories. Um, maybe not even, it's a little smaller than a medium and it's so filling. Potatoes are low calorie and filling and versatile. You, I make baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, baked fries, everything low calorie, get out all my cravings with potatoes. And for us, like we always tell you guys, we needed to pick our battles. We know it's a starchy vegetable. Right. However, we needed that to bridge the gap. Just like we know corn and peas and the, you know, certain vegetables are higher in calories, but we needed potatoes. <laughs> we and like I, french fries. And I still need potatoes. Like, I love potatoes. I don't cut them out because it just causes me to go back to emotional eating, which I really struggled with. It's a trigger. If I take away food, my emotional eating urges can come back. So I leave everything in. And especially carbs. Especially us. carbs, especially potatoes. Again, I treat it as a veggie, the potato. Um, and here we are with the other veggies. Uh, carrot sticks are missing, but there's carrots, celery, and cucumbers. We loved these because you can eat a ton of them. They really fill you up, and they're really good with ranch dip. And we would get the low-calorie ranch dressing and use it as a veggie dip. And literally had veggies, veggie sticks pretty much with lunch and sometimes dinner too. And loved them, kept us full, look forward to it. Another thing we learned along the way is uh, a serving of pasta sauce is a serving of vegetables. So as we were changing over our diet, adding things in slowly, that felt like a doable thing. Yeah, and that's the thing, like, um, I did have emotional eating and I did 
um, go to a couple of like classes to learn how to work through it and I went to a course where they taught me about a little bit about nutrition like not to get a paper or anything just for myself and they reminded me that potatoes are veggies and pasta sauce is a veggie so don't take it out you can use it um, as veggies now this last one is gonna probably gonna surprise you and you're probably gonna go what on earth are you doing but we literally did eat this every single night and I believe it was a major factor in helping us lose the weight and keep it off and that is low calorie ice cream or frozen yogurt and I know you guys are probably going what every night we ate half a cup of low calorie ice cream or frozen yogurt because at the time we didn't have like halo top or anything it was just like no sugar added briars or this half a cup sometimes with two low calorie low sugar cookies this we looked forward to along with the popcorn and it kept us on track because every night for dessert we got some ice cream and it was in portion and I remember someone saying Nicole you look so good and I said yeah I lost 50 pounds and they're like what are you eating and I said well every night I eat ice cream and they looked at me and they're like you're losing weight eating ice cream yeah because it helped me look forward to what I was doing every single day and it kept me on track and that is why I included it as number 10 and then I want to just throw in a couple bonuses we often get asked like did you guys use protein powder your whole journey because we are sponsored by Hoodult so we use like the harder than last time I call it Hoodult protein powder we did not use it in the very beginning but mostly because like they didn't really have a ton at the time and I didn't really know much about it so once we started learning about protein powder we did add it in because it makes really good like protein oatmeal protein pancakes the other thing we switched from just trying to get the weight off to wanting to put on and keep muscle yeah so the extra protein really comes in handy yeah and then what we love about huddle I call it huddle harder than last time is it has like a ton of different flavors and it's really good for getting cravings out so like they have a s'mores one they have a luckier marshmallow one strawberry cheesecake <laughs> the link is down there for that if you want and the other things we pretty much ate every day were eggs and egg whites and we kept the egg in because it's a really good source of fat and protein and then we did the egg whites because you can add a lot more protein for really low calories and really fill your belly up by adding this but not extra fat or calories and that is it these are pretty much the staple foods obviously we have them all we still pretty much eat all of them every single day really and if you want to know the exact portions and exact meals that I ate to lose the weight, I have two weight loss ebooks. The links are down below along with a guilt-free cookbook. You can check all that stuff out if you want to buy those. And again, the protein link is down there too. And that's it. What we learned is we have to love what we're eating. And anytime we gave up any of our foods or any food groups, it really set us back. So we left everything in. Occasionally we have regular treats like pizza and ice cream, but for the most part, it's staple foods like that that helped us get the weight off, keep it off, and now we're getting in the best shape of our lives and it's helping us do that too. And so that is it, the friends. I'm sorry I'm bad with numbers, but that's just, this, that's this thing. So sorry if it was fusing. Here I am, I love ya. I hope you enjoyed this vid. I hope it inspires you to love your food. Now we are out. I'm going to drink a giant A and W. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.